okay so we'll continue yesterday we were discussing a small signal a small signal is a small signal ac analysis of analysis of diode So how to deal diode when there is a small AC signal is applied, okay, along with a DC source. So yesterday I was discussing that if I'm applying a source V here, along with the AC source, VP sin omega T, okay, across diode, forward bias. Okay? So this analysis, we are doing in forward bias mainly, okay. So how can I tackle diode in the circuit? If this is a situation like this, if I asked the V output here. So for that, I will start with the diode equation, okay. So diode equation is given by IS exponential, okay. And suppose the voltage drop across diode is VD, okay. That will be given by QVD upon theta KT minus one. Okay. Now I'm not using any model. Okay. Model will say if diode is ideal, that it will be zero. If it is silicon, it is 0 0.7. Okay. That is only for model. In reality, what happens? Okay. So in reality, the IV characteristics are so suppose the uh VD VD voltage get drops across diode. Okay. You can you can change the voltage huh? if you see the IV characteristics. This is like this. So this is a, this is a current from diode and the voltage across diode. Okay. So you can apply any voltage across diodes. This is the voltage cutoff voltage is required to make current on. Okay. After that, you can you can change the voltage. So it is not that voltage is fixed. Uh, Zero point six for silicon. Okay. That is model we use. Okay. So actually, suppose now the the voltage across diode is VD. Okay, due to this DC source. Now I'm uh, now applying this source also. Okay, this AC source also. So what will happen? I told you yesterday. Depending on the source, AC source, what will become the current? Mm -hmm. which, uh, what? In blur the cream. My internet ka issue hai. Uh, Srimaya, Sanjita, screen is fine or not? Fine, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, so now this is the VD. Okay. Now there are two sources here. So, and I told you yesterday, if you apply AC amplitude, then current will fluctuate with this AC source. Okay. So the voltage also will fluctuate across the uh, diode. Okay. So first of all, say I'm using for forward wires. forward bias is id will be equal to is exponential uvd upon eta kt okay now if diode voltage is like this vdt okay equals to if i'm applying this diode vd is the constant voltage okay and then i'm also applying uh, a small signal vdt also okay now, if two voltages are applied, this is a DC or this is AC, AC voltage. Okay. So I'm calling this as a suppose VDT, time time dependent voltage I'm applying. Okay. Then what will happen? Say this is time dependent voltage, say VDT is equal to VDT. It can be any function of time. Okay. So it can be sign also, it can be anything. So in general, I'm telling it is VDT. So now my ID will be, okay, ID will be IS exponential now vd will be across this one okay constant vd plus small signal superposition okay upon eta kt okay now just if this is the case okay now you can write this is the idt okay uh, this is also function of time because it's function of time 
So IDT will be now your IS exponential QVD upon eta KT and into into what is small exponential exponential okay small VDT upon eta VT uh, eta KT okay Q also there okay now suppose this one this is the case Now this is IDT. Okay. And this pull become again ID ID due to only DC source. So I can write this as a ID. And I have this one exponential Q VDT upon eta KT. Okay. And this also also can be written as a IDT exponential Q VDT upon or Q ke niche le jao, to this will become eta KT upon Q. Okay. And this can be written as a ID exponential VDT. And this is the eta. Okay. And this is your thermal voltage. KT by Q. Okay. So now suppose I'm saying this VDT is very small. This is a 26 millivolt. Okay. Multiply by something eta. It may be ideal. It will be one or it may be two for silicon. Okay. So approximately it is 26 or some 50 millivolt. Okay. Now this voltage is less than this voltage. Suppose this is a five millivolt only. Small signal. Okay. So if it's VDT, VDT is small, okay? So VDT is say is less than less than eta VT or VT, okay? In that case, I can expand this exponential. If this this fraction is less than one, okay? Or you can say VDT if VDT upon eta VT is the less than less than one because we are doing the analysis for a small signal. For that, those cases I can write this is a ID exponential, and this I can write one plus x, one plus VDT plus eta VT. Okay. So now the total current what I'm getting in the circuit for okay with DC source is ID plus ID VDT upon eta VT. Okay, and this I can write here ID plus VDT upon eta VT upon IDT, ID. Okay, so now this is the current. Okay, and this current is due to DC source. Okay, and and in current, you can only add current. And this is a voltage. So this should be what? Resistance. Resistance. Okay. So now I can write this IDT is equals to ID plus ID, ID, small ID. Okay. This is not, it's not, it's become constant. Okay. So if, if voltage, if I take amplitude only, so this will be now what? This will be your ID, okay? This will be your ID T, okay? So this is due to DC source, this is a DC source, and this will be due to AC signal. This will be AC signal, okay? So basically what become circuit? Circuit is superposition, okay? That means this is the DC source, this is the AC source. So in third step, you have expanded the exponential. One plus X. Okay. Sir. Okay. So now the meaning of this statement is there that if there are two sources in a circuit, 
okay one is ac one dc you can treat the final analysis you can do in the circuit using superposition principle okay that means first you find the current due to dc source then switch on dc source remove dc source okay and then you find the current in the source due to ac signal okay and then finally you add both these things this is the meaning of this thing okay so now we, whenever we have to use both the both the things what we'll do we'll do we'll do uh, dc analysis as well as ac analysis okay first we do it with the dc source and then we will do ac source okay this is the meaning of this this thing and when i am using ac source okay that time what i need to do that time my diode is behaving like a resistance when i apply ac signal okay that time my diode is behaving like a resistance okay and the resistance value is rd rd equals to n with n bt upon id okay if diode is ideal beta is one and your rd becomes 26 millivolt upon id like i was discussed yesterday okay so if i do only ac analysis of a circuit then that was a small signal if there is only only ac source and that was a small signal then you have to simply replace diode with a resistance and resistance value is what resistance value is this one okay but obvious when you want to do uh, ac analysis you need this id id also so before you do ac analysis you have you must need to do dc analysis okay in order to find what is the id in the circuit once you know the id circuit later you can do ac analysis okay so so are you getting my point if there are both the sources there first you do the dc analysis and dc analysis you find the current id okay and and then you do ac analysis and ac analysis you replace diode by this resistance and you find the current and total current will be circuit will be id plus idt okay and if you are asking only ac analysis then you do dc analysis first find the id and with this you can find the ac voltage at output okay no need to do further dc analysis okay. if they are asking only answer in question only ac okay so i will understand i will make you understand this with one example Okay, so let us take for example, okay, where these are both. So I have a DC source of 12.7 volt. Then I have a AC source, okay, which which is VP is given US, which is sine wave VI equals to VP cos omega t okay and vp value is given 100 millivolt okay and this is applied on diode and these all are silicon diodes okay now i want to find what is ac voltage here okay so the question is asking find dc current find dc current okay and second asking find ac ac output voltage ac output voltage okay here i meant to find the output here okay so what i need to do now okay so it is very simple i need to do first what first i need no need to calculate the id okay and id even to calculate id i have short circuit this one okay so i have only one source and the current is flowing id and here one more resistance also there okay here one more resistance also there this resistance is 9900 ohms <coughs> okay so i want to find id flowing in the circuit so once 
this is forward biases. Okay, open circuit voltage twelve point seven, which is sufficient to make conduct these silicon diodes. So he, this will be replaced by zero point seven. This will be zero point seven, zero point seven, zero point seven. So the current the circuit will be ID will be what? ID will be zero point zero one ampere. Twelve point seven. It is one milli ampere. Minus is two point eight volt. Yes, minus, minus how much? How much will come? Zero point seven, zero point seven. How much will come? Uh, 2.8 2.8 okay and then you have a 9900 ohm okay so this will become how much it now yeah 9.9.9 okay nine point nine nine volts and nine thousand nine hundred okay so approximately and, one million ah uh, so this would be one and this will be thousand okay so this will come one million ampere okay so this is coming current is coming well id is coming one milliampere okay so if id is one million milliampere you can now find rd of the circuit okay now you remove this signal okay now you apply what you apply ac only ac signals bp cos omega t okay bp value is 100 millivolt okay now, first you, when you replace this by AC source, this all diode will become resistance. So this all diode will become resistance one, resistance two, resistance three, resistance four. Okay, and the resistance value R D will be what? Eta V T. Okay, eta you also take one for ideal case. Okay, so this will be your twenty. And the question it says you take this one. Uh, v T you take as a 25 millivolts. Eta VT, uh, so you take 25 millivolts. Okay. So your RD will be what now? RD will be your 25. Okay. Instead of 26, the question is given 25. So that's, we can do simplification. So this will be 25 upon 1 milliampere. Okay. Eta is 1. So Eta VT upon ID. The ID is this one. So milliampere cancel. This comes out 25 ohm. That means each raised each raised diode will be replaced by a 25 ohm resistance. Okay. Now you can find AC output voltage. You can find what is output is coming here very easily. Okay. Tell me what is the output now. So if I want to find the output, output will be simply AC output. A omega t cos omega t would be replaced by one watt for a good thing. You you write the we first need to calculate current so voltage upon resistance VP cos omega t okay and VP value is given 100 so this is voltage is 100 cos omega t okay this value is 100 cos omega t resistance resistance is how much circuit resistance so total 109,010 10 10 power 4 and you have to find the voltage across what 100 ohms. So how much is coming? And this is 100 ohm and this is ohms. Okay. And this is milli 100 millivolt. This is 100 millivolt. Okay. 10 to the power minus 3. So watch for how much coming? This 10 to the power 4, 10, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power can cancel. Okay. And then you have this is millivolt. So you're getting uh, cos omega t one into cos omega t. This is in millivolt output. Okay. And if they, if they ask what is the amplitude, amplitude of AC voltage, amplitude, that is peak value, peak value of output, that will be only one millivolt. This answer. Clear, sir. Ah. Ah. Sir, my internet is going on. I have to tell you so much. Please tell me, how did you write the AC formula of AC output? How much is the voltage here? How much is the total voltage divided by total resistance into this resistance? How much is the voltage here? How much is the voltage here? How much is the voltage here? How much is the voltage division? Okay? Voltage division, I have to tell you that the AC output is here. और 
उसकी पीक वैल्यू कितनी है पीक वैल्यू ये वाली है दैट इज मिली वोल्ट सो दिस इज 1 मिली वोल्ट इज द पीक वैल्यू सर बोलिए सर लाइक इसमें आईडी करंट ही फ्लो करेगा ना जो ये रेजिस्टेंस कंबाइंड रेजिस्टेंस होगा इसमें आईडी करंट फ्लो करेगा इसमें कंबाइंड बाद में अगर टोटल करंट निकालना है टोटल करंट में फिर आपको वो निकालना पड़ेगा दोनों करंट निकालना पड़ेगा अगर टोटल करंट चाहिए इसमें सर्किट में तो कितना होगा आईडी आपने निकाला पहले कितना 1 मिली एंपियर ठीक है और अभी अभी, अभी कितना आएगा इसमें से कितना आएगा इसमें से कितना आएगा इसमें इसमें तो ये करंट आएगा आपका आईटी आईटी कितना आएगा ये ये डिवाइड बाय टोटल रेजिस्टेंस 10000 ओके 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 आईडीटी वाज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आईडी यस ओके तो वो वो अलग करंट हो जाएगा ठीक है सो टोटल करंट हो जाएगा दोनों सोर्स के कारण ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ओके तो बेसिकली इस क्वेश्चन को कराने का पर्पस क्या है इस क्वेश्चन का कराने का पर्पस सिर्फ इतना है जब भी आप वेन एवर यू डू एसी एनालिसिस ओके फॉर एसी योर जंक्शन इज रिप्लेस बाय रेजिस्टेंस दैट्स इट ओके बिकॉज वेन आई डू एसी एनालिसिस फॉर ट्रांजिस्टर ओके दैट टाइम देयर आल्सो जंक्शन इज देयर सो आई विल रिप्लेस द जंक्शन बाय सिंपल रेजिस्टेंस आर डी और कॉल आर ई ओके दैट्स इट सो दैट्स इसलिए मैंने कराया है बताने के लिए कि जंक्शन का रजिस्टेंस आर डी कितना आता है ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिली वोट अपॉन आई डी जो भी सर्किट में उस सम, उसकी मुस्लिम जो करंट फ्लो कर रहा है डायोड से ओके दैट्स इट सो दिस वाज योर स्मॉल सिग्नल एनालिसिस ओके नाउ द लास्ट टॉपिक इज योर क्लैम्पर ओके सो लेट अस डू नाउ क्लैम्पर सर द लास्ट स्टेटमेंट यू सेड द जंक्शन रेजिस्टेंस इज द आरडी द आरडी द जंक्शन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द डायोड इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय A resistance whose value is R D twenty six millivolt divided by R D. Okay. Okay. Now clamper. Clampers. Now what does clampers does? Okay. So clam clamper. Clampers means it uh, ship the signal. Okay. It 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 ships. The सिग्नल लेवल ये खाली सिग्नल के लेवल को शिफ्ट करेगा क्लैम्प करेगा ऊपर या नीचे सिग्नल लेवल ओके नो डिस्टॉर्शन नो क्लिप नहीं करेगा नो डिस्टॉर्शन डिस्टॉर्ट नहीं करेगा नो डिस्टॉर्शन नो क्लैम्पर कैन बी मेनी वेज ओके दैट देर आर शिफ्ट अप क्लैम्पर शिफ्ट डाउन क्लैम्पर ओके okay. एकदम ऊपर कर देना नीचे कर देना है और बाइसिंग की फिर बाइसिंग लगा के वॉट एवर लेवल यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉप कितना वोल्टेज नीचे करना है कितना वोल्टेज ऊपर करना है दैट एवरीथिंग यू कैन डन डू ओके सो बेसिकली यू कैन शिफ्ट द लेवल ऑफ सिग्नल ओके डिपेंड ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो द सिंपल क्लैम्पिंग सर्किट ओके यूजेस सही दिस इज अम एम साइन ओमेगा टी Uses a capacitor, okay, across along with a diode. So you have a diode, a capacitor, and here I am putting a resistance R, and here I am taking your V output, that is clamped signal. So this is your C. Okay. Now, before you understand the working of a clamper, okay. So what is the clamper conditions okay so any circuit this circuit will behave like a clamper only well the rc time constant rc is greater than greater than the time period of signal okay so t is the time period of sub signal t is the time period of signal okay now rc is greater than greater than t okay t is the time period of signal r is the resistance this resistance and c is the capacitance this value should be greater than the time period of signal okay so what does mean what is the meaning kya okay so suppose now you have capacitor okay now you are applying so this is the condition condition okay now you are applying this source here okay ac source so i told you that your capacitor do not charge suddenly it takes some time okay that time time will be in microseconds only 
but it takes some time. Okay. So now whatever, as soon as I'm applying this uh, AC signals to this one. Okay. So I'm taking this diode as ideal here. So what will happen now this capacitor will charge charge means initially as soon as I apply a signal, it will be a short circuit. Okay. And slowly, slowly, what will happen? Slowly, slowly, it will start charging and it will charge up to the peak value of this one. Okay. So, so whenever this voltage in input voltage increase. Okay. So initially when it is, when it is charging that time, first it has a zero voltage, then slowly, slowly voltage increasing until this voltage is less than the peak wave value, there will be current will be flowing in the circuit. Okay. The current will be flowing in the circuit. So current flows, if, if this time is T by two, okay. And this time is T. So this four T by four. Okay? So each cycle for each cycle, okay, for each cycle diode conducts for T by four time period, okay, T for T for T by four time of cycle. Okay. So now this charge has been BP. BP is going to be charged. So diode will be conducted for it and it is charged. Within a few cycles, cycles, it gets charged. Once it is char get charged, okay, this voltage becomes BP. Okay. Now, <coughs> now the discharging time is very high compared to the TRC. So the very discharging time of capacitor is equal to five RC. Okay. So discharging, discharging time for capacitor is generally equals to five RC. Ab RC khudhi T se bada hai. RC itself is a greater than this T. So this is discharging time for this capacitor is five RC. So obviously five RC is very greater than T. So what will happen ultimately in positive cycle, your capacitor charge and negative cycle is discharge. But since the discharge time is very high before it completed discharge, there are another cycle will come. Are you getting my point? Is it charging? And then here it is not charging. So when it is not charging, obviously it will discharge. But discharging time, the capacitor is very high. That this time period is very small compared to the discharging time. So and so before it discharge, there will be another cycle will come and will charge. So ultimately, this once it is charged completely, it will be remain charged. Okay. So so whenever I will analyze, I do the analysis. I will assume it has attained the its peak value according to the capacitor circuit whatever value it can attend. Okay. He particularly this question it is attending VP. Some other question, if the circuit is uh, different, it may, uh, uh, it will attend a maximum value. Okay. So here your capacitor will charge up to the peak value. And now this condition is always remain like this. Okay. And this is your V input. Sir, uh, why uh, up to T4 only it will charge means uh, when it is charging, it needs a time T by four only. So, उसके बाद तो ये नेगेटिव साइकिल में तो ये ये ओपन हो जाएगा ना वो t/2 तक ना सर पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल मतलब हां तो फिर वो फिर तो वोल्टेज कम हो रहा है ना हां ये ऑलरेडी वीपी तक आ गया तो फिर कैसा होगा ठीक है हां सो तो बेसिकली यू इफ यू अज्यूम ओके दैट इन विद इन अ फ्यू साइकिल्स ओके दिस कैपेसिटर गेट चार्ज अप टू the this peak value. Okay. Now, once this is charged now this is the second condition. Now this here, no current will flow. Okay. No current will flow because this voltage is always greater than this voltage. Okay. So see this voltage can be max VP. So when it is VP, VP, VP cancels. Otherwise it is, this value is always less than this VP. When uh, this value is always less than VP, so automatically this circuit makes this diode as a reverse bias. So this diode will become open for always. Whenever this condition is there, capacitor is there, this diode will become like a open circuit. Okay. Now I have to apply the KVL. So first understand, once it is charged within a few cycles, it will, it will charge, and then the, after that the condition will not change. 
this will be like this. Okay. Now let us see what happens when I apply positive cycle. Okay. So now applying V, this is my uh, V input. Okay. V input. And this is my VP. And this is my, if I'm using like this, this is my V naught equals to zero. Okay. So if I calculate my V naught, that will be V input minus um, what? This is uh, minus, okay. So V input, okay. So V input minus V input, okay. Plus VP, okay. Now, if it's a positive cycle, if it's a positive cycle, then V input would be what? If Sir, a, minus VI plus VPI. Right? Wo, wo agar aap, if I'm taking positive cycle, I'm directly running general location. So for positive cycle, for positive cycle, I will write this minus V input, okay? Then this VP and this is then this V naught equals to zero. Okay. Now V output will be my V input minus VP. Okay. Now let us draw the output. So when my V input is zero. Okay, my V output is minus VP here. And my when my input is VP, input is VP, then my V naught is zero. Okay. So if I draw the output, okay, this will go like this. So when it is zero, it is minus VP. Okay. Then it is zero. Again, it comes to zero, it comes to minus VP. Okay. And again, it comes to minus VP. It goes to minus 2 VP. Okay. And this goes like this. So this is your minus 2 VP. Okay. Then minus 2 VP. So what happened now? Signal was up first. Now the signal was up. Shift was up. VP was up. First signal was up. Now the signal was up. Now the signal was up. So how much level was up? This level was up. Down was up. Down was up. So this level was up. Signal was up. ये VP shift हो ये down down shift हो गया, okay? Clamp down, so this is basically your clamp down circuit. So this is basically clamper, clamper function, okay? अब इसमें कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा तो पूछो क्या हो रहा है? Sir, uh, जब भी एक uh, capacitor VP peak voltage लेता है, hmm. तो इसको re reverse कैसे diode uh, का वो चीज नहीं मुझे पता था। भई ये VP है, ठीक है? और ये कितना है VP साइन ओमेगा T यस ये वोल्टेज हमेशा इससे कम है कि नहीं है VP हमेशा ज्यादा है ना इट कैन मैक्स मैक्स इट कैन रीच VP यस सर और तो जो VP भी बराबर होगा तो ये करंट तो अलाउ करेगा नहीं ना इसको हम्म करंट अलाउ नहीं हो रहा इसका मतलब क्या है करंट करंट फ्लो ही हो रहा है करंट फ्लो ही हो रहा है इसका मतलब क्या है यस ये डायोड रिवर्स बायस है और वैसे देखो ये VP ज्यादा है ये कहीं पे कम है तो यहां से आके ये ये कम है ये ज्यादा है उल्टा आके कैसा लग रहा है इसको रिवर्स बायस से लग रहा है या फिर यहाँ देखो आपका डायोड ये है डायोड पे ये माइनस ज्यादा नहीं लग रहा है ये माइनस लग रहा है ना इफेक्टिव तो माइनस लग रहा है इसके ऊपर आप आप केवल लिख के देखो ये ज्यादा है इसके इससे ज्यादा है ऑटोमेटिकली ये वोल्टेज यहाँ प्लस आएगा ओके प्लस माइनस तो ये हमेशा क्या है आपका हमेशा रिवर्स बैस में जब कैपेसिटर आ गया डायोड के साथ तो डायोड को ओपन कर देना डायोड ओपन कर देना ऐसे सर्किट हमको हमेशा याद रखना है कैपेसिटर डायोड है this fully charged jayega ye voltage is always greater than this one so this is always open in the circuit ab we kar do ab ye positive cycle ho gaya theek hai negative cycle mein maine kya ye to positive cycle kitna tha aur negative cycle mein kya hota hai negative cycle mein aur maine ek sath hi kar diya yahan par fir maine isko kar diya hai positive cycle mein kya hoga ye ye maine isko isko aisa likh diya maine pehle karke ab ye positive cycle mein positive hai to ye ho jayega aapka ye zero fir negative cycle mein isko maine negative kar diya maine ek sath ek equation mein dono kar diya नेगेटिव में नेगेटिव कर दिया इफ यू वांट टू राइट डिफरेंट इक्वेशन फॉर नेगेटिव देन पुट नेगेटिव साइकिल नेगेटिव साइकिल देन दिस विल बी दिस विल बी प्लस दिस विल माइनस तो दिस विल बी योर प्लस वी इनपुट ओके दिस विल बी ऑलवेज सेम एंड दिस आउटपुट आई एम टेकिंग ऑलवेज सेम सो योर वी आउटपुट विल बी व्हाट नाउ माइनस वी आई प्लस वी पी ओके अब क्या अब क्या अब क्या करोगे तुम यहां पे वैल्यू रखोगे किसमें पॉजिटिव में रख दो माइनस वी आई माइनस वीपी ना माइनस आई माइनस वीपी ओके ओके तो आप क्या रखोगे बताओ अब तुम यहाँ पे रखोगे वैल्यूज अब वैल्यू पॉजिटिव ही रखोगे अब नेगेटिव नहीं करोगे अभी तो मैं पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव दोनों रख रहा था पर तुमने एक बार पॉजिटिव कर दिया यहाँ से तुमने ऐसा कर दिया तो आप वैल्यू पॉजिटिव रखोगे तो जीरो रखोगे तो क्या आएगा माइनस वीपी 
ओके और फिर बीपी रखोगे तो जीरो तो वो इक्वेशन वापस सेम ही आएगा आइर यू यूज दिस इक्वेशन और सेपरेट सेपरेट साइकिल और यू पुट हियर बहुत पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव वैल्यूज ओके यू गेट सेम थिंग योर आउटपुट इज सेम क्लियर अभी कोई डाउट हो तो पूछो आई विल गिव यू इफ यू मोर एग्जांपल्स ओके लेट मी सॉल्व वन मोर एग्जांपल वी हैव 10 मिनट्स टाइम इनपुट फाइव हंड्रेड किलो ओम डायोड एंड दिस इज योर वी आउटपुट ओके नाउ द सिग्नल इज योर सिग्नल इज योर लाइक दिस इनपुट इज टेन टेन मिली टेन टेन वोल्ट्स ओके Uh, this is your 10 volt, and this time period is one millisecond. Just and this off time is microsecond. So again, this is my signal. This is one millisecond, and this is off time. So it's zero. That is one microsecond. Okay. So basically, you are applying signal like this. Input is like this, one millisecond. And one microsecond, and this is your ten volts. Okay. Now I want to see what will happen in this circuit. Okay. So first of all, you have to check C value is given ten nanofarad. Okay. So I have to first check RC RC value. RC value is how much? R is your five hundred kilo ohm, five hundred into ten to the power three, and this is ten nanofarad. Get into minus nine. Okay. So this become three, four, five, six. So this become RC become five milli five millisecond. Okay, and the total cycle is of what? Total cycle is of one millisecond plus one microsecond, and the discharging time is five times of this RC. This is twenty five milliseconds. Okay, that means my discharging time is very high compared to this cycle. This cycle is only of one millisecond and one microsecond. So this cycle is very small life period compared to my discharging time. So this, so this, uh, this capacitor now work for as a clamp, uh, as a clamper. Okay, so this circuit is work as a clamper circuit. This this condition first you have to check this condition. Okay, so this condition is satisfied. Okay, now let us say what will happen. So that means now this capacitor will charge. Okay, charge up to what? Charge up to is this peak value that is up to ten volt. Okay, this will charge up to this ten volt, ten volt, ten ten. And when I do the analysis, I assume that is this is already charged. Once well, this is already charged, okay, you can you can make it this is open. No current is flowing. You can make it open. Okay. Now for positive, now just you do the uh, plot the output. So output we get the equation to so minus V input plus ten ten volt. And here I'm taking output. This is the plus V not equals to zero. So V not will be your V input mark is ten. Okay. So when V input is ten, positive cycle. Okay. V not will be zero. So your V not will be zero for this time period. V not will be zero. Okay. And when V not is G V input is zero, this will be minus ten volt. Okay. So for this small time period here, you will get. Minus this one, this become your signal. Okay, so this become become basically signal. Okay, this zero. Okay, and this again will come like this. So signal is same. Okay, only it gets shifted. अभी लो ऊपर था, अभी shift होके नीचे आ गया ऐसे. So this is your clamping. Okay, in doubt, 
Sir, here you have considered positive cycle, right? Alright, how many times you ask same question again, again, okay? So if you, I, I have written this for positive cycle, okay? So now what negative cycle, what are value will be put here? If negative, I put negative, positive, cycle, positive. Okay. For positive cycle, I am putting positive with the value. What is there? If I'm writing this with this way, if a negative value, whatever value will come, I will put negative. You write for negative, negative. Okay. You write for negative and then put V input as a positive. Then don't put negative value. But negative is not here. The negative is not there. Okay. Only high and low, high and low, high and low is there. So I have written, I'm writing the equation like this and I'm putting the values of higher and low. Okay. So let us do one more problem. We have it is 10 microfarad, 10 microfarad raise capacitor. Okay. And here I am putting a resistance. Okay. Or if you want to remove resistance, resistance creating confusion, then remove resistance. Okay. This is your diode 6.8 silicon. Okay. And I am applying here now this V input, okay? And my signal is plus 14 volt and minus 14 volt, okay? Now uh, I want to do the analysis of this circuit. Now what will happen, okay, again? Sir, one resistance Price So now what will happen? This is your <coughs> V input. Okay. V input is 14 volt. So jab main capacitor pe suddenly 14 volt lagaunga in the circuit mein. I'll apply this 14 volt. Initially, capacitor kya hota hai? At T0, T0, capacitor behaves like what? Short circuit. Short circuit, very good. Just a short circuit, just a bit, you're looking for 14 car. Yes, well, the charge will time lag, na? It will take time to charge. Okay. So now what will happen? If I apply 14 volts, if it's this short circuit, all the 14 volts is coming where? Here. Okay. Now this requires 0 0.7. And this requires 6.8. So it will, it will now current will flow. Current flow until it is get, until it is this get, get charged fully. Okay. And this will charge. It will decide that here the voltage is how much. Now this is your minus V input. Okay. This is the voltage across VC. How much is there? This time is not peak value. We'll see how much is there. And now, and the V output. This is V output. Okay. So this V output is how much? 0 0.7 and 6.8, 7.5 occurs to zero. So VC and this is what this is minus minus for this is 14 minus 14 plus VC plus 7.5 equals to zero. So now this VC will be what 14 minus 7.5. How much comes? 6.5. So this time capacitor will charge only up to 6.5 volts. Okay. This capacitor charging only up to 6.5 volt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now once, once it is charged, it remains charged up to 6.5. Sorry, sir, for interrupt. Time period. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Now, what will happen? Tell me. Okay. Now, I will write. Once it is fixed here. I will write the equation. Okay. So minus V input. Okay. Now this is plus 6.55 and this is my V output equals to zero. So V output will be what? V input minus 6.5. Uh, for forward cycle 14. Okay. I'm adding for forward cycle. 
So this V naught will be how much? Tell me, fourteen minus six point five. That will be seven point five volts. Okay. So where it is fourteen, I will get how much? V naught. I will get seven point five. Okay. And when negative cycle, when this becomes minus fourteen, so this plus fourteen will be. Okay. So here. प्लस हो जाएगा तो यहाँ मैं इसको माइनस कर रहा हूँ तो माय वीनोट विल बी हाउ मच माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव कितना हो गया ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव माइनस का सो व्हेन इट इस गोस माइनस हियर आई गेट हाउ मच आई गेट हियर माइनस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव ओके डिफरेंस इस हाउ मच ट्वेंटी एट ह that means the your signal is only get shifted. Okay, the signal only shift to get easier. This is clamping. Okay. I hope you understand. Now, if you have a question asked, otherwise I'm stopping here. Tell me. Okay. Arun Preet. Sir. Ah. V not equal to minus fourteen and minus six point five. Add up to twenty point five. Banega na. Twenty two point five. Yeah. No, no. Twenty five banega. Twenty point five banega. Chal. Twenty point. Twenty point five na. Or ye kitna ho jayega? Twenty point five. So ye kitna ho jayega? Twenty eight ho jayega na? ये हो गया एट और ट्वेंटी एट और ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट हो जाएगा टोटल ऐड होकर ट्वेंटी एट हो जाएगा और ये भी ट्वेंटी एट ही है ना सर ये वही क्वेश्चन ले सकते हैं हम वी आउटपुट इक्वल्स टू वी इनपुट माइनस वी सी हाँ वही वही उसी इक्वेशन में मैंने माइनस एक बार पॉजिटिव दिया या माइनस दिया और क्या ये इक्वेश अब ये प्लस ये प्लस ये प्लस हो जाएगा और कि पहले माइनस कर रहा था ये तो ये तो एजेंट्रीज है ये भी एजेंट्रीज ही है हाँ बोलो इनिशियली वाली इनिशियल कंडीशन जब वीसी वो हमने कैपेसिटर शॉर्ट सर्किट करना है हाँ उसका भी ये ये कैपेसिटर चार्ज हो ही नहीं सकता है जब तक करंट करंट कनेक्ट नहीं करे अभी ये इनिशि� तो यहाँ पे सर्किट में वोल्टेज कितना आ रहा है? 14, 14 इस सफिशिएंट टू ड्रॉ दिस वन। यस। ये 14, 14 अगर इसपे 14 इसपे 14 है। यस, यस। तो करंट कनेक्ट हो गया। ओके। अब ये ये तो इधर ये एक दिन तो 14 पहुँचेगा नहीं। तब तो तो ये चार्ज होता जाएगा, चार्ज होता जाएगा, ओके। और चार्ज कितना Okay, so I'm stopping here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.